Wix blank template tutorial, Wix website tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and for today's video, I will show you how you can easily start creating your website from scratch using this Wix website builder. So without further ado, let's get started. So I already logged into my Wix account, but if you don't have any account yet, then you can start creating your account by signing up and you have 14 days trial to enjoy the pro account and you have access to pro features. So so to get started here inside the Wix account, you just need to click on create a new site here located at the top right corner. All right, so over here we have two options to select from, which is the Wix and the Editor X. And this Editor X is the new um, website editor that they added inside the Wix. So let's just go ahead and make use of this one. All right, so here we can choose how we want to start creating our website. All right, so from here, as you can see, we have different templates here that we can make use of to start building our website. But of course, we also have an option here to start from the blank canvas. So let's just go ahead and select the blank canvas. All right, so let's just wait for the load here to finish again. Alright, so here's the Editor X website builder here. So as you can see, we don't have anything inside our canvas. And over here on the left hand side is where you can add your own logo. And over here, we only have one menu, which is the home. This is for the default. And of course, going here at the top left corner, you can see we have different tabs here. We can add some elements. We can add some layers. So here we can add some header, some additional section here. And then we can also add some masters. So masters are sections that can show on multiple pages. Changes you make to one apply everywhere. It's in the use on this site. So it means like, for example, the default um, header and the footer like this one over here. That if you visited other pages like your about page or contact page, this will be the same and nothing will change so that's the site master and then of course we also have the pages here where you can add additional pages so as a default we have home but you can also add a new page here so for example we will be adding a new page so let's just say it's gonna be about page all right click enter and then let's just go ahead and add another page which is our contact page so we just added a new page. So going back here, we can now add an additional menu here inside our header. So let me just go ahead and click Manage Menu. So here we can go ahead and click Add New Item. Click Site Pages. And over here, you can also check the About Me and the Contact uh, Me page that we just created. So just click Apply. And as you can see here, we have now the additional menu. So you can add... Uh, more option here inside the headers. It will depends on what kind of website you want to build. So let me just go ahead and click the X button here. And then over here, we can add an element. So just click add element. And over here, you have option to what kind of element you want to add. So here we have a button. You can add a button or you can add some image or you can also add some gallery if you like to, uh, some container. And let's just go ahead and add some container here. And then let's just go ahead and make this one bigger and also make it wider. All right, so that's the container here. And then, of course, inside this container, we can add section. So here, go ahead and add some section. So we can go ahead and add some button here, as you can see. So let's just go ahead and put it here for now. And let's go ahead and click this add elements here at the top left corner. And let's go ahead and also add some image inside here. So let's go ahead and add the image over here. 
And also let's go ahead and add some text as well. So let's just say I will be adding here my text, like for example, hey, my name is Zwigzy. And let's go ahead and enter it one to move down here. And then let's just go ahead and make this one bigger. So let's just go ahead and go to our font and the size. We can increase it. And then let's go ahead and add another text. And let's go ahead and put it here. I am a graphic designer. All right, so something like that. And over here, we can also change the text inside our button. So just click change the text. And then over here, you can change it contact details. All right, so let's go ahead and click the settings icon here at the top right corner for our inspector. And here we can see the inspector for this button here. And of course, you can also change this one, the color of the button. So just go ahead and click this pencil icon. And over here, you can change the background color. Click hover and it will turn to this color. When someone hover their mouse for this um, button. So you can also change the color that you want this one or this button to change to. So it will depend on you and you can also change the border, the text style, etc. And then you can add another section. So add section. So you can add some block section or some grid or a layer outer uh, section. But let me go ahead and click the blank. So we have now the blank section here and you can click add element again and here you can add some paragraph, some button again or a video. So let's just say you will be adding a video here, like a video you're introducing your uh, self. And then let's just say that we will be adding another text here. Introduce yourself. All right, and you can add another text down here if you like to. And then add another section. We can also make this section smaller. And then add another section and click blank. And for this section, we can add a gallery for us to showcase our work, for example. All right, so we just added our gallery here. So this will be your gallery look like. So you can also stretch this one if you like to for you to have like that kind of gallery inside your website so let me just close the settings here and again you can add another section here so you can also select grid and adding grid you can select like two by one three by one or you can customize your own grid so here we can just easily move this one to create your own grid all right so something like that and click done so we have now a grid here inside our website. Over here, you can also change the view from desktop to mobile. And maybe we can move this image over here and it should be showing up here. And then our name will be here. So you can just easily change the uh, mobile view separate from the desktop view. So once you're done, just click publish. So I guess that's all for today. So thank you for watching.